we have a special treat tonight. Um, you know, sometimes you, I mean, even in a small church like this, it's possible definitely people that come on Sundays. You know, if, if people, some people that come on Sundays and that don't ever come on Wednesdays, there are probably some people in the church that they don't even really know. And uh, I know that um, Amanda, I've been knowing Amanda and Jacob for a long time. I asked Amanda to, to give her testimony. I, I, it was kind of interesting because I was driving down the road coming back from Baton Rouge. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the Lord put Amanda in my head and on my heart. And I said, you know, I've always thought about trying to get her to, to give her testimony. I said, so maybe I'll ask her Sunday. And I didn't know how she would respond. Because Amanda's probably a little bit of a different personality than mine. Like, I'm all loud and everything. Amanda's more quiet. So some of you may not even know Amanda. But I asked her to give her testimony. She was excited about it. The Lord had already put it on her heart. And uh, I just want, you know, I just... The, the reason that I like this so much is, is that even though sometimes we don't know other people that are in the fellowship that closely, everybody has a different background and everybody's been through things, right? I mean, can we all right. agree and admit that we've all been through right. things? Amen. Life is rough, my friend. But all of our stories are not the same. Um, and uh, it's just good to hear that God is doing the work in people's lives. Amen. And I know that he's done the work in Amanda's life because she's already shared some things with me. But Amanda, please come forward and take your time. Amen. And, and share with us what the Lord has done in your life. And you know, I'll say this real quick while she's getting up here. It's all connected. I know it is connected to the truth of the gospel. Amen. It's the truth that will set the captive free. Amen. 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 Praise God. You want it in here? Okay. <laughs> First, I want to thank Pastor Matt for giving me this opportunity to give my testimony. When I look back on my life and I see all that God has intervened in, all I see is his mercy. Like the song, Mercy Rewrote My Life. I was raised in a Christian home, but I spent most of my life running from God. I had been diagnosed with bipolar at 12 and spent most of my young adult life in and out of mental hospitals. I got in trouble with the law at 16 and was sent to a girl's home. At that point, I began to look at my life and I accepted the Lord in my heart, but I didn't know how to live for God. And I lived in a state of constant defeat, in and out of the world for years. There are a few moments in my life I will never forget because I see how the Lord intervened. I used to hitchhike all the time at 16 and nothing bad ever happened to me until this one time that I was dropped off in the middle of nowhere on purpose. I was dropped off on the side of the road in New York area. And because of things I was on, I could not even remember my own phone number to call my mom for help. So I just sat there. I was terrified. I did not know what to do. I'd only been there for about five minutes when a truck went by and stopped. A man rolled down his front in his window and asked if I needed help. And I said yes. He was one of the people in charge of Team Challenge. He put me in a hotel until he could get me home. And the next day after I was sobered up, I could remember my phone number and he called my mom and he drove me home. That was God's mercy in my life when I was a rebellious teenager. Also, I was very depressed in my 20s and the medication they gave me never helped. I was in and out of the hospital constantly. I felt I was in a prison in my mind. I would be in the hospital on multiple occasions for a suicide attempt. But one time, I did not tell anyone about it. I told the Lord, I want to go home. I overdosed and then I told my mom good night and I was going to sleep. Hoping I would wake up and see the Lord. <clears throat> about 20 minutes later, my mom was banging on my door. I locked it and she was yelling for me to open it. She said, what is going on? She said, the Lord told me something is wrong. She asked me, what have you done? I told her and she called 911. The next day after the hospital, the doctor did not want me to go home. He 
he said, you were almost a cold blue. I see how God used my mom to save my life. If she wouldn't have been sensitive to the Lord's voice, I don't believe I would be standing here today. The fact that God gave me the mom I have that never stopped praying for me is God's mercy in my life. God gave me back everything that I had lost. God gave me back my marriage that I had lost. Me and Jacob were remarried. He healed me of bipolar, and I have not taken any bipolar medication in over nine years. I have not been in a mental hospital in over nine years. He healed my mind. He gave me joy instead of despair. He gave me peace instead of fear. I'm happy to be alive today, and every day that I wake up is a reminder of God's goodness and mercy. Hallelujah.